That was a funny little pop. <laughs> okay. Human Entertainment now out of business. Because they filed for bankruptcy many years ago. Gotta wait for this the intro to like rock. So I try like looking up like a different like you know game title for it, but they didn't have any. They only had like you know like the first fear cover title art. Nothing, not another one. Okay, so remember how I said like last night, you know, how important this right here was, where she was getting chased by uh, Dan, right? This right here shows off the continuation of it. There goes the kerosene. Real life fucking explosion. That was Jennifer then. This is Jennifer now. The evil mother of men. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Hopefully it's not making that pop. Giant scissors, once again, search for prey. But I'm pretty sure you guys shouldn't be here because, I mean, not that much, like, sound. From Norway to England. Here it is, the barrel manager. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never talk to this good Superman. Got to be joking. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, Doctor. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> we'll make it through this game of murder alive. <laughs> Clock Tower. <laughs> it's almost like watching like a trailer for it. Okay, now we can actually, like, you know, start the game. But yeah, like, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to hear, like, you know, like, the audio popping, because, I mean, the game is fucking silent, just to let you all know. Uh, new. Okay, so... I remember playing this game, like, a long time ago, because the reason why is... I managed to do Jennifer's like story and I managed to get the A rank. And then there's B, which, um, well, as you all know, E is like, you know, they don't find the statue and they accept, like, you know, that Susan Man is going to be around and we're just going to have to deal with that shit. Um, D, hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm messing up a little bit. I know B, like, you know, she gets sucked into the portal with Scissor Man. C. Oh, I now remember. Um, C, she, like, uh, what was it? K comes, like, behind and kills Jennifer. D is basically Edward kills, uh, Jennifer. But yeah. Let me try mono. Hopefully that, like, doesn't make the auto go bad. I think it could probably be the sound. Hmm. So this is like a little backstory about the whole thing. So in the mountains of Romster in Norway stands the Barrels family mansion. This mansion had a large clock tower. So this is like, you know, back to like the first clock tower. By which locals tended their flocks in the surrounding fields. The local people called the mansion the clock tower. In 1986, the mistress of the Barrels Mansion gave birth to twins from the day they were born. However, it was obvious the twins were not normal and were evil. The twins were given names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become the murderous Scissorman. 
In 95, a young girl from the Grand Orphanage, whose parents died when she was quite small, was lured into the Barrow's mansion, where she was attacked by a monster wielding a giant pair of scissors. That monster was the grown-up Bobby. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster, and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway was caught up in the centralized Scissor Man murder. Although Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissor Man has reappeared. So, from what you all remember from what happened last night, yes, that big giant blob that you guys saw in the intro was in fact Dan. So remember, Mrs. Mrs. Barrows had two sons. They were both twins, and they became the murderous scissor man. Only one of them was, but the other one wasn't because, like, he became a mutated big giant blob. And from what you already like know, the big giant blob, when Jennifer knocks the kerosene down into that candle and causes a big explosion, which basically Jennifer thought, like, you know. Like, it killed the big giant blob. But, it technically did not. As she was escaping from, like, you know, the caves in which the elevator, the can- I'm sorry, the camera panned to, like, you know, the gent- Like, all that, like, you know, like, icky gooey stuff. And came a person which was Dan at the time. So, she thinks, like, you know, Scissor Man was Dunzo. But technically, Dan is still alive. And decided to, like, you know, take the role as the new Scissor Man since Jennifer killed uh, Bobby. So, um. Might have some data here. Yeah, here it is. This is like scenario 3, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, so we're going to start up a new game. We're going to play as Jennifer tonight, and if I might have some time, I'm going to do Helen's. Because, I mean, Jennifer's story is, like, technically way important because, like, well, fucking lore, to be honest. And Heather, um, all she is is just, like, you know, like, she just wants to solve the mystery of Scissor Man and see, like, what can she do to end his reign of terror once and for all. So, here we go. Prologue, Samuel Barton. Hopefully it doesn't screw up. Nope. Oh, I gotta move my, my camera. earth are you doing professor you you mustn't hypnotize her like this you'll fix she's yourself not, don't worry she's not ready to remember the murders yet helen the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me i must i must know the truth of what happened she can't take any, take any more of this today professor i'm taking her home All right, but remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Yeah, Professor. Okay, so the prologue is basically like really short. You just play a Samuel, you just learn some things and stuff. Hopefully, like, you know, the game does not act like that. I might have to do some configurations. There's a faint smell of ammonia. Um, let's see. And as I said before, <sighs> this game right here is a text heavy based game. And I mean very text heavy. Not to mention, like, you know, it has pre rendered graphics. So Samuel Barn is technically a guy who's been very fascinated in the Clock Tower murders, and like really he's into it so much. He fell hit number one. Oh yeah, there's hints.
Okay, um, let's go ahead and leave then. Come on. Oh my god. It's like you have to click on the damn door. Hmm, just a light switch. Yes, we know. Um, can I leave or is there something else I need to do in here? There's a faint smell of ammonia. Okay, we know that. Hmm. Oh, I gotta check this out here. Mm. The Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case now. Oh, how intriguing. Jennifer Simpson is only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her future profiling materials. Okay, now I can leave. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute. How is there two survivors? I mean, basically Jennifer is the one who like, you know, managed to escape peacefully, but her friends, you know, suffered a horrible fate. But we're about to meet the second one. Maybe very soonish. Professor Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together one mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject Pff, wow way you put it on there dude uh, yes yes you're right the statue is cold one of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders seems to be behind some sort of secret would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. So yes, this is actually the same, um, the same statue that you find in the game, or you find the staff. This clipped down articles of Clock Tower story here scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. There's a scissor man mask right there. Professor, a news reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? That's a kind soul in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly find stupid things. Oh, you have no idea. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? I guess they want to centralize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man, you'd be cool if you were real. Ooh, you better be careful what you say. Or I'm just a joke. Okay, so I'm gonna save the game here. Reason why is because we need to make sure we choose Jennifer. So I'll save over this. Yes. I mean, it's really not a big deal. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Ah, shoot. Hey. <sighs> so let me double check real quick. Du -du 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 -du. Okay, square buttons to panic. Okay, just want to make sure. Just checking to make sure, like, you know, what do I need to do? Because I need to, I think I may need to talk to Harrison once. Let's see. Okay, we need to talk to Harris twice to go to Jennifer's thing. 
So that's what we need to do. Return. Yes, Harris. Oh, Professor. A news reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Um, is Jennifer... She has already gone home. Is there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. He's always so gloomy. He's not nice, though, that's for sure. But then... Okay, he just says the same thing. I do remember, like, watching a speedrun of this game. And I, it looks like speedrunners always choose, like, the Japanese version because they think it's, like, a little bit faster than the English version. Walk into the void. We need to head to the first floor. Ding ding. So I think I got Jennifer now. <laughs> Cause you, cause I just saw like I mean I ruined the guy. You need to talk to Harris twice to get to her scenario. You talk to him once. He plays Helen. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her Leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. Well, look who she'd been through, man. You really think a girl like her is gonna go through an interview? I mean, got mine, literally. She's been through some horrible shit. Not to mention seeing her, like, you know, one of her friends die one by one by one. Not to mention, like, you know, running away from a killer. A giant pair of scissors and also a big giant like you know monster blob and all the horrible things she's seen in that mansion not to mention a craze the range like you know lunatic like uh, Miss Mary <sighs> ouch the woods not much you can say that is there. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. God, it takes so long. <laughs> but it doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. <sighs> kind of wrong there. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see. But, okay, that's it. Interview's over. Get the hell out of here. There is something else we intend to. Uh, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry, I couldn't be much as help as you hope, jerks. <laughs> as he says it, like, you know, under his fucking breath. Another survivor of the clock tower murders. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Yep, yep, that's the way we're going to be visiting. Uh, Professor Byron, like, you know, interviewing. There's no reason to go to the third floor. Yeah. I hate to waste time. Well, maybe, like, you know, you could have something to do on the third floor. Like, for reals.
So I think this one is generally important because depending on where you send the statue, you have to make sure you remember where you send it to. If you forget, you're on to the E ending. Well, then if you forget and you go to the wrong place where you didn't send the statue, as I said before, you're headed out to the E ending. I still need to get an expert opinion on the statue. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. I still need to get in. Ah, oh, it! I think I need to keep talking to him more. Where's Professor Sul- Oh, no, he did it. Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion nicknamed Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Eris to show it to him. Ask carrots, yes or no. Okay, I need a mind. I need a remind fresher here. So let's see. What's mm. up, that? Okay, let's see. Yes, he'll take it to Rick. No means Barney will take the statue to Mr. Sullivan. So, I think it's best I just take it to Rick. Gotta deal with the lore, so we'll say yes. Let's have show it to Rick. Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the Clock Tower murders? I mean, say don't think. Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home. This evening. Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Alright. Yeah, should probably should. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Grand Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Here, er, yes. It all started back when I had a goldfish. <laughs> well, then let's get started. Oh, that's the end of the prologue. Okay, hopefully this is Jennifer's thing. I just save it here, so... Um, I think I'll use Data 2 for Jennifer and Data 3 for Helen. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Just silver data one. Yeah. I'll wait this. Yep, got her. Helen isn't home yet. I think I'll go out for a while. Yeah, this is where she's going to like a teenage phase. <laughs> she loves boys. Where should I go? 
can't save at the moment. Norway Hotel. If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. Hmm. Well, not the library. Not that. Not that. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. Her laboratory. Man, look at that. Pre-rendered graphics. <laughs> PS1 pre-rendered, man. Gotta miss that shit. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? <sighs> my hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. That sucks. I gotta get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Don't think he's gonna go there. Not go there. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Well, you're about to find out right now. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am. I am Jennifer. Me is Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Grand Orphanage. The Grand Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. <laughs> You're also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Oh, and I think it will. I was hoping you'll be able to come visit Edward, please. Yes, that'll be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I am sorry for keeping you busy. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. See you tonight. Huh? Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... <laughs> A reporter! Beat him up! <laughs> It's Nolan. You're the reporter that came to university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Hmm? Hey, what do you say having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Oh, well, uh... <laughs> uh... That's it, both. <sighs> nice... Mm, yeah, let's go in there, Romeo. Scenario 1, Jennifer Simpson. It is very late. <gasps> Someone seems to be following me. Yeah, I can't do anything yet. Shit, I didn't... Fuck, there was like a prompt right there and I didn't do it. What a little cursor thing. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Couldn't she, like, you know, like, tell Nolan to give her a ride back home? What's wrong? Help, help. Someone, someone is following me. <laughs> Echoey. Some kind of weirdo, weirdo. <laughs> yep. And this is what Jennifer does. And instead of like fucking running like you know someplace else, she decides to go inside the building. Wow, I cannot believe a fucking <sighs> Literally, there was a Windows Defender scan that was running. Thank you very much, Windows. Damn it. I think she might be dead. Never fucking mind. Okay. Okay, I need to check something real quick. <sighs> Your device was scanned four times. Yeah, thank you very much, Windows Defender. Literally. <sighs> I think that's the reason why. I'm pretty sure that was the reason why, like, um, this right here was, like, running bad because of, a. Uh, in the background, Windows Defender was, like, doing a scan. It wasn't even telling it to do a scan. Maybe that's why, like, you know, the emulator was, like, running, well, kind of like, you know, skipping a bit and making, like, an equity effect because of that. Thank you very much. Okay. So, scenario one is basically really nothing to do. Because you're basically trying to find a way out of here. That's it. So you're not trying to find anything. You're just trying to find like tools or something to open this up right here. So let's go through here. And remember, I cannot stay in one place for too long because Scissor Man will end up coming by. How do I know? When the music kicks in. <gasps> or it could be right here. Kill! 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 I have never seen this before. Well, I actually never triggered it before. Hey, what about here? Alright, use this thing right here. Fire steam you sure. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, take a bitch. Ugh, run, Jennifer. And you're kind of wondering, is he there? No, he's not. The door is locked. God damn it, I think he is still doing anything. Yeah, he's gone. Some kind of max are on the table. There is something written here. You discovered hit number three. 
cool. There ain't nothing here. So you really don't want to take the elevator to be honest, kind of because like you're kind of like most likely to trigger scissor man. So we gotta head down to the first floor. I need to find something so I can open up that damn vent. The fax tone rings. When it's happens, you can't do nothing. She just stands there. Now she does. The fuck was that? Get ready. I'm coming to get you. Holy shit, that got me good. Might be good to get a leaf. Um, Jennifer, can you at least I like, call the cops instead of like calling Helen? Now leave, 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 leave. Cause when you hear a fucking rattling, bone out. <sighs> it's been so long since I even played this game. Okay, this must be the room here. Helen desk is neatly organized. There's a key. You now have the office key. Oh, it's automatically used. It's open. under the sheet. Ah! <laughs> Even a sad does make a person like, you know, throw up. Patient's charts are collected here. There are many bottles of medicine. A cheap table. Alright, I think it's time to leave. So that could have probably been anyone under that sheet. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. Then let's go down to the first floor then. But literally, it is kind of like, you know, how dumb, like, you know, she did. 
So you could have basically, like, you know, instead of going inside a building and trapping yourself with you and the killer inside, you could just fucking, like, you know, I like, left someplace else. But nope. You gotta go ahead and, uh, well, make your doom. I'm, you know. Like, you know what I mean? Be stuck in a big giant building with a killer inside. Come on, she had there, huh, buddy? Huh? The telephone is dead. So that's two people, scissor man killed. Sofa, probably used for naps. Let's make with blood stains on it. Chairs knocked over. So, I mean, you can actually, like, do some exploring and try to find, like, you know, some, like, things around here. What's going on? It doesn't even budge. Do not go that way. Do not go that way. I think this is pops out of one of these boxes, I think. Stuff full of complex charts and graphs. What's this? Hey, two. Oh, we need to find something here. Nothing seems useful. This might be useful. You know, have an oil can. Actually, hold on, hold on, time, 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 time. What do I need to find here? Like, literally, what do I need to find here? Because I think there's going to be something really important here. Let's see. Okay, the oil can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured the oil can is definitely an important item. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm supposed to get the ladder key. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of figured you don't want to hit the um, this, the alarm, because, uh, Susan Man would definitely, like, you know, come by. He'll look for you. I don't know, it's like, if it's proven that he does or not, but I'd rather not risk it. So we need to go back to the security room. Come on, Jennifer, run, girl. And look on the table for the uh, ladder key. There's a key on the table. What is this? Do you not have the ladder key? Now we can leave. So yeah, basically you do not, and I mean this too, you do not want to miss the oil can because the oil can is very, very, very important. Because it, it will definitely help out in another scenario. Jennifer, please go up. So it's like scenario one is like basically you just have to find like, you know, the ladder key and get out. But the, the only thing is like you find the oil can and that's it. Oil can, ladder key, that's it. Uh, so it can't be, uh, so I, I guess it can't be used in emergency either. Oh, I think it's going to be. It's like a fire ladder. It's a lot, so I can't use it. Oh, I gotta equip it. Come on. 
from way up here, is it safe? Lady... <sighs> I mean, you're on a third story, okay? Well, actually, you could get pretty much, like, fucked up by falling from a third story. <laughs> I mean, too. The second story... You might survive. Though you might have some broken bones. And she has escaped. I had to do some configurations in the settings. Yes. Whew, at least you got away scot free. Thank God. What in the hell is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder? And again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster? But it's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back. For revenge. <sighs> well, whether he is this or not, you should go home now and rest. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you will be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. What kind of title of name is Assistant Inspector? Come on. Jennifer, Helen, it's true. It was the Scissor Man. I know, I believe you, Jennifer. He is just being stubborn. I heard that teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. That's all I gotta say is yes. What should I do now? Hmm. What if she goes to the police station? I will go see the inspector. <sighs> inspector Gadget. Where was that show? Oh, you are still here. You should go home before it gets dark. Don't forget your key. <laughs> well, you're like, you really think, like, you know, she's gonna for forget her damn key. I know she didn't want to go to the newspaper, I think. What Nolan is doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her and Nolan has some kind of, like, quote unquote interview slash date. I kind of forgot how old she is in this game. This man is a cameraman who is of Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan? Uh, he just went to look for you. He's worried about you. Oh, he is? He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, your hot stuff again, and if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll be the back door. I'll be the back door open for you. So try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. I mean, it's true. She is being fucking mobbed by, like, you know, the newspapers. Wonder if they're okay were attacked by Scissor Man. Oh, I think they're probably a okay. I mean, a okay. I know there is no one here. I know there is no one here. Okay, um, I'm not gonna lie, that, that sense right there, I might need some work. She could just say, oh, I guess Edward and Kay are not here. I'll come back another time. 
They're saying like I know they're not here. How does that make sense? Oh hi Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Yes. What about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes. I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion on the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is though. I see. Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to Sizamon. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer? Yes? Who is Nolan? Uh, <laughs> um, well, I better run along now. <laughs> Exit stage left. Ooh, wait, Jennifer, you almost spilled the beans. I bet my house is surrounded by reporters. I probably shouldn't go home for a while yet. Okay, so we need to make sure we tell Nolan. Because remember, we sent the statue over to Rick. And if we ask Jennifer, I don't know how, like, you know, you actually, like, get to, like, you know, where you play as Helen. But, I think there's, like, some kind of, like, you know, way it happens. But if I play as Helen, then, like I said, I am on my way to E ending. And that is a new. And if I get it, I get it. It's not a big deal. I mean, I saved the game anyway. So I can, like, try again. Is there anything I could do for you? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick Ashley? I think he's involved with never gonna give you up to a woman. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a famous, famous singer. I ran into someone who knew who knew about him. I had to go ask him what he knew of knew about the song he was singing to. <laughs> I don't know what I was singing. <laughs> oh man. Like he was singing to a beautiful woman. Like he's saying like he's never gonna give her up, never gonna let her down, never gonna run away and desert you. And he knows that he will never make her cry and he will never say goodbye. He'll never turn around and desert her. That's Rick for you. Let's see, we get it. Well, oh, okay. So if I say no, then he doesn't go. So we play as Helen to pl uh, to go to the library. So we're gonna say yes. You can count on me. Thank you, Helen. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now then. Scenario 2, Nolan Campbell. So Rick lives in the suburbs. <sighs> Let's see how he dies. This dude here. A little bit of screen turn right here. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes. If you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant it is. Mm. Nolan, 
You know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle? Yes, it is a castle in England. Then, before the Barrow's family moved... Yes, it is why I've heard over 80 years ago. Is there something in the castle? A monster once was once born there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissor Man. I had thought of it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrels. I mean, no one's talking. Then. There is a way to feed Scissor Man. Rick, do you know where this castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. I think he gets killed by the dog. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, he doesn't. given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. Now he's so on the welfare. So it used to hang in the Barrows Mansion. Oh, Barrows Mansion. I call it Barrows. Yes, what wonderful times they were. Except for... Damn, homeboy dead. Well, he went to a retirement, but he went to an early grave. And now, hide. Anything here I can use? Fuck you, man! How the fuck? Holy shit balls, man! I heard him like come to a fucking door and he was he how? Literally how? So I know I heard him come to a damn door. Some bullshit. I want this open. Oh god. God damn it, go upstairs in. I tried using this thing, but it didn't let me. No, 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 in here, in here, in here. Alright, we're safe for now. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, literally, I did not think he was gonna pop out for the fucking, like, little floorboard or some bullshit. Literally, cause I. I'm not fucking lying. I did. I fucking heard him, like, go through a damn door. And I was thinking, like, okay, maybe, like, I could hide in here. But nope. Little bitch popped out of the fucking, like, floors. Oh my god, wow. A neatly made bed. He really was a man of steady habits. <sighs> a Bible. Apparently his God didn't protect him. <gasps> Ooh! I should- Oh man, I hope the Easter egg is still here. Actually, hopefully I get the Easter egg. Um, I might uh, do it myself, but check this out, chat room. They're gonna love this. Hopefully he's there.
Yes, I got it. <laughs> okay, yes, this is the creepiest shit right here. So, you actually come to this room and you see Susan Man in the rocking chair watching cartoons. And it, you can't leave because you have to actually examine it. But check this out here. Holy fuck, that was creepy. And that's him laughing. <laughs> it's fucking funny. He's like, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're supposed to uh, do the chase thing. The re I saved the game. Fuck, that was a freaky ass laugh. Can I use the blanket? Yes, here's a weakness of Scissor Man chat room. Ah, it's so clean and fabric softened. Yeah, Scissor Man hates blankets. Damn, I'm glad I got the Easter egg. It's so good. Like I said, uh, Scissor Man will, will uh, sorry, randomly be in that room and sit in the rocking chair and watch cartoons. God damn, he has a freaky ass like laugh. Okay, we need to uh, go ahead and check around the house. Lucky for me, this is a. Uh, it's not that big. It's like so a medium. So we need to look for the statue. No, 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 no. No, we need to get this thing here. Bath towel is on the shelf. Oh, I need to turn on the light, I think. Because I need a uh, detergent. <laughs> Bathroom sink. How about it? There are two brushes on our daily toiletries. Well, I mean, yes, they are. Bath towel is on the shelf. Okay, I guess I can't go through there. Because I thought, like, maybe this is where you find the detergent. Because the only way out is, like, through the sliding door. And technically, if you don't have the detergent, then you're going to get mauled by a dog. Oh, it's right here. Duh. Oh, powder soap. Okay. All right. Um... We need to find a statue now. I don't know if he pops up from these vents here, but I'd rather not know. So let's go back to the kitchen here. We're going to look at this mask here. Something is written on it. This is the location of the Barrel's Castle. Confirm location of the Barrel's Castle. But here's one problem. It's alive! Tap the mask. <laughs> Nope, not here. Is that thing? No. <sighs> I need to look for the statue because if I I won't be able to continue on. Some kind of cooking utensil. I think it could be used as a weapon. <sighs> Knives are used as a weapon. Knives are used as a weapon. Come on! Okay, I need to like find out where the hell is this damn statue at. 
the cave. Give me a second. No, not that. Not that. Intermission two. No. No. Here we go. Oh, and where's the look in the green board jump on the left while you're not getting me ending? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, technically in the wardrobe we were at. Hmm. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, so... Basically, I had to go back upstairs here. What? Ha! Holy shit, balls! Damn, that was some crazy shit. Let it fucking do like a like a jumping like jumping strike. Uh, I don't know here, I guess. I have to fight him. Yeah, sucker punch that bitch. But that's only temporary. You still need to hide. If he comes through this thing, I think it's game over. Yeah, he does. Yep, I figured. I figured. That's why I said. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's start up the game. Well, that was technically a dead end. Ooh. Still running from him. I mean, he could have, like, you know, like, fucking got out the way or something. There's a statue right there. There seems to be something inside. Then check again, dork. We have the statue now. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. It feels cold. You now have the statue. Okay, so we just need to get like two more things. The powder soap and then the location of the barrel's cancel. So once we have that, then we can like get the hell out of here. Yeah, you're getting chased by scissor, man. I think uh, Nolan might just end up tripping on the steps and fall down. And if you don't mash the pan button like in time, he just ends up getting killed. Okay. Check out the mask. This is the location of the Barrow's Castle. Now we know. Also, if you don't hit the mask, like if you hit something like besides the mask, like the chair or the like 
I don't know, I think that mirror or something like that, then yeah, it's it's game over. You can actually like die in like you know horrible horrible ways in this game. Now we got the powder soap. Alright, let's equip it and then leave. As if for you don't have the power soap, you are done so. And mean it too. <laughs> So now we have the location, we have the statue, we can leave. Oh, nice knowing you, Rick. Help bag Rick's dog is clearing into our room. Dollar's man borrowed Fanny's chip and saliva. I wonder what's wrong with him. Rabies! Much as if we didn't want to, we had to. Pocket sand! Well, that's done with. Okay, so now we're heading out to the final scenario. Nolan, I wonder if you found the statue alright. Pretty sure you did. Uh, let's head for newspaper. Nolan, are you all right? Yes, Susan Man was after me. What? It hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector Gods. Yes, he was almost convinced that I was the murderer. Ooh, wow. <laughs> it's like, since the man had a fucking alibi. I am so sorry, Nolan. You are in danger because of me. Everything is okay now, so don't worry. Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of a castle. The, Bar the Barrow's Castle. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrow's Family Castle. I think the castle is in England. Do you want to go? Yes. Maybe we can discover something about Scissor Man. You must have find we must find some kind of clue. Maybe that's where Susan Man was born. Susan Man's birthplace? In any case, it may be safer there. Oh no, it fucking ain't. I'll tell everyone. Right. I'll tell Gods too, otherwise he'll really think I'm a murderer. Actually, you have the police on your way, yes. So, in this scenario here, you must round up, a, well, everybody who, like, wants to go with you. So, we need to go to see Helen in the University Research Building. Oh, never mind. Oh, Jennifer, I heard you're going to the Barrow's Castle in England. Jolly old England. How do you know that? That guy Nolan told me. We decide we'll go to you. If you too. You have? This is a good chance to see a castle, and it sounds like fun. Oh my god. Going to a castle where a murderer was, like, you know, born from? You think that is fun? Come on. Use, use your head, people. Literally. 
fun? Yeah. In the next minute, you're gone. You're dead. Goodbye. See you later. Unless it's like a haunted castle, don't go. Oh, Jennifer. Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we are getting close to discovering the secret of Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. And the Barrows used to live there. I see. So, that's Scissorman's home. So, Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but I mean, come on, you, you gotta agree with the woman. Do you think it's a good idea to even go to the castle? Hell no, it ain't. He'll, he'll probably kill us too. <laughs> Not you. Ah, uh, excuse me. I go with you, Jennifer. Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh dear. Okay, um. So, Rick's house. Can't really go there because there's no point. I wonder if the inspector is in. And I mean, too, there's like literally no point in like going to like Rick's house because no point. Hmm. Alright, Jennifer, I heard Susan Man's back. That me is gonna jump all over it again, I tell you what. This is indeed an interesting case. I would love to see the Susan Man. Hmm. Inspector Gott, I am going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man. The Barrows Castle. So that is where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I think so. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a second, Professor. What about the case? You too, Jennifer. You're on an important witness in the case. You can't just trapeze off like that. Then come with us. Huh? There must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissor Man. We might learn why investigating the Barrows in history. All right, Professor, I'll go. What am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You'll be a hero if the case is solved. As long as they ain't made a goat. Bah. Okay, I guess we head to... There's no time to go home. Yep. I mean, come on. Like, no one is here. Never mind then. <laughs> I mean, if, like, guys actually, like, you know, like, goes, wouldn't he, like, you know, be happy? The library is closed today. Alright, been there. Been there. Been there. I guess we go back here. Plus, you get a promotion and a raise. So instead of being, like, you know, in assistant inspector, you'll be promoted inspector. And a huge raise. Hi, Jennifer. I heard you're off to England. Yes. I'll pass this time. Be careful. Smart man. Yes, I will. Hmm. Helen might be here. See, at least that's a smart person right there. And I mean literally, too. He's like, oh, you guys are going to England to go to the castle where Sinisman was born? No thanks. I'm staying right here where it's safe. Jennifer, I, hope from, I heard from Nolan. Now we have a clue about Scissorman. 
Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are now 10 people going to England. Some of them think this is going to be a picnic. Hell fucking no. We'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. Oslo Airport. From Oslo to London. The sun is going down. It'll be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. And this is where the final scenario begins. Strange. Where's Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle, hurry! Last scenario, Scissor Man. Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Uh, where are we? Where is everyone? Must have been a prop. <laughs> Asking so many questions. He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. I had to apologize that the audio was kind of popping. It's the emulator. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. I doubt that. Jennifer. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> and that right there means the deal is off. Like really, you think Susan Man's gonna be a cool guy, cool guy, and let him do that kind of shit? No thanks. Like peekaboo. Yeah, eat clothes, shithead. Okay, now we can save the game. So, here's the thing right here. You can get multiple endings in final scenario. And I mean multiple endings in this scenario here. But actually, you know what? Let me do something real quick. I need to see if I can like really like you know like the audio popping. So, I want to go ahead and close the emulator. I uh, really quit. Uh, yeah. I see it anyway. Uh, exit. I mean, hopefully, I can actually fix the. Well, like what the emulator is doing. Got me see. I wish I could play on, like, you know, like original console, but. Trying to like, you know, like play on original console, like trying to find, you know, like the equipment to even like run like old school, like consoles is like tough. Not to mention like, you know, if you're going to find the equipment, you got to pay like, you know, some big cash money for that shit. Okay. Uh, you do, do, do. I need V-Sync on. I don't need over scan. Uh, let's try 16 bit. Apogeo. Normal. 
original. Let's try faster. Okay. Sound, normal, full sound, normal. I'm not going to mess with that. Plugins, video. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. So we're going to run. Open. Hopefully, like, you know, it doesn't do it. Hopefully it like fix it. Might have to build up cash. And this is probably like, you know. Nah, I don't think it ain't. Wait. Yeah, it still is. Okay, um, oh yeah, that's right, I can't do it while it's running. Let's see. No. Hmm. I mean, I'll try to do everything I can to like, actually make sure like he doesn't do that. What if I try doing this right here? Let's try fast. Uh, shift for window, low, standard. Let's put, god damn it, I need to get the keyboard. 800 by 600. None, none. Auto detect. Okay. So if this one doesn't work, I'll try a different one. Because I don't want it to do with the popping or the whole soldering thing. Okay, this is good. So let me do it again one more time to make sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Might be a tiny bit poppings, but if it's like tiny bit poppings, then that's okay. Okay, so let's go. Okay, cool. I know it's gonna be fucking pixely as fuck, but just bear with the chat room. Just bear with it. Shiny save again. I wonder what they were used for. 
looks like the Virgin Mary, but something is very wrong. How spooky. Um, I think a little cutscene is supposed to play out where Van Stan is supposed to like bleed from the eye. Okay, so yeah, I know it's gonna look ugly, but just bear with the chat room. This is the only way to play it. Okay. Exhaust stand. No, we don't need that. Don't need that. You can earn four endings here, so this guide is split up into paths for ease of uh, ending on choice. Well, we're gonna get a ending, so go to section two. Okay. No, 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 this way, this way, this way. I don't like to read. What's wrong with reading? Hmm? Many books are stacked up. Large, thick books. Just looking at these gives me a headache. Are these books from many different countries. Okay, um, I'm a little bit confused here. Oh, by the ladder. What's this? A notice stuck between the books. It's written in foreign language. Maybe Helen and Professor Barney can read it. You now have the foreign note. Okay, let's leave. A chapel? Looks different from the ones I know. Actually, you know what? I think I could fix this. <laughs> like, literally, I think I can actually fix it the way it is. So, let me do this again one more time and close the emulator. Oh my god. Yes. So let me see. All right, now we'll let it look like that. I think maybe because I hadn't like, because I think probably the pixels were probably bad as fuck. Okay. Okay. All right, this will be the last time I do this because I want to like play this game. But if it still looks a little bit ugly, Charum, then like I said, just bear with it. I think it still might be. I think it's, oh, well, like I said, just, just bear with it. 
I know it's gonna look ugly because I changed to like you know a different plugin. <clears throat> like I said, I think that one like plugin was like I don't know was making it like run pretty bad. Chapel. Okay, I need to make sure I follow this guy completely good because I need to have every single survivor alive. If you're trying to get ending A or B, go to section 2. Okay, you find yourself in a very odd chapel. There are some weird lighting effects that come if you hang around too long. And there's a couple playing the right. Take note of the pattern. Okay. It's a little bit better. There's a copper play on the wall. The cradle under the star. You now have the star plates. Okay. Except for that right there. Oh god. God damn it. Okay. Okay, so I got the star plate. Hit through the door on the left wall. All right. Not a bad looking paint, I gotta say. Ah, oh, god damn it. Spectre Gods died. Does that mean I don't get like a ending or what? <sighs> Let me load the game. Cause I don't want lying spirit to guys like you know dead. Cause I need a ending. Well, then I, I mean, I got it already, but I want to see if I can, like, get it again. What if I do this? What if I just, like, don't get the... Start playing and just go all the way over here? Will he still be alive? Nope. Okay. I need to fucking know. Am I heading for like the bad ending or what? Okay, I got the foreign note. I got that. Well, technically, he's dead. Oh well, I guess we just gotta rock with it then. I saved the game anyway. So let's grab the copper plate then. I think, like, you know, I don't know if I get, like, A ending since, well, Inspector Gods is dead. You now have the candle.
Okay, I guess she don't want to. Um. I mean, I can always check like any ending, no problem at all. <laughs> Excuse me. I know that he was supposed to be alive, not dead. Chains are hanging from the wall. Many people must have been hung by them. Instruments of torture. They look painful. Yeah, for him. Keyhole. Okay, I, I think I might be stuck. game again because um, the stair key was back in that area I didn't notice that man that sucks I don't think Sism and I comes around until like you know you venture further into the castle There is something in the pocket. You now have the stair key. Okay, let's grab this copper plate here. <gasps> so it's random. The moon, the sun, and the stars. Now the star plate. Okay. Inspector Gods, please be alive, man. Yay, he's alive. So that's what's it. You don't get the stair key, then you see gods die. Well, you see his body. Jennifer, you're still alive. Inspector Gods! Thank heaven, you're all right. Yay. It's Assistant Inspector. Again, what kind of title Inspector is that? Inspector Gods. I'll go and look for the others. <laughs> it's Assistant Inspector. Anyway, be careful. <laughs> Always says to remind people, like, it's Assistant, not <laughs> Inspector. You gotta get the Assistant. You know how the candle. <laughs> Secret stairways. I wonder where it leads. Well, I guess, like, you know, Inspector God's gonna just chill there. 
And that mean too. He is gonna probably just chill there with all them torture devices. This room isn't like any of the others. Okay, so now that we know Inspector Gus, I mean, sorry, in Guts is now alive, we can save the game here and we can now move on. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's see. I got the start plate check. Gods is alive check. Uh, let's see. I got the candle check. I don't need the hit nine. Okay. Enter the door to the left where you exited. Alright. Put this up here. Wow, what a mansion. Nice picture right there. Nice, I really love the devil. Small table. Everything seems normal. Oh, no, I gotta click on this thing here. I think. Do I? Oh, it's over here, too. Uh, let's see. Rats! We're rats, we're rats, we're furry and forlorn. We live with sewers and our sewers and our hearts are torn. There's a small hole in the wall. Oh, they move a girl. A key. You know, the library key. Okay, got that. Sorry, I'm going to pause a bit because I have to make sure I read the guide. Okay, we have to go back to the main hall, downstairs, go into the door, and uh, this would take you leave. Sitting room with paintings, with flaws, cards. Okay, we have to find the servants' quarters. So I think it's this way here. Okay, so left to right, servant quarters, the garden, hallway door. Okay, I know that the garden has a pointy shape. So I think, no, not that one. I think this is the servant quarters right here, hopefully. It's not. <sighs> no, this is the kitchen. It's not this one. Okay, I think I could be in the wrong one. 
Oh, left rear wall. So yeah, like in this scenario here, you can actually get screw up. Like if you don't find where like you need to find, not to mention like you know you discover like you know one of like you know the survivor's dead body. I mean I don't know if you're able to get like um the good ending. Well, a ending on the survivors. Okay, yeah, 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 right here, right here, right here. This is it. I remember, I remember. Like I said, this right here leads you to the garden. You don't need to go there. Hair is scattered about. A book. There's a book on the bed. A large book. The cover is made of copper. You now have the copper book. Eek! A hand! There you go. Must be Thing's cousin. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and save the game. I'm not going to save on file one. I'm going to save on file two. Cause I ran there like you know file ones like I saved guides I got the uh, the note no save would be possible <clears throat> through the wonders of emulation in chat room we have a thing called ooh save states and uh, it looks like my memory of blog is like full and it's at zero. Okay. Oh, what do I need to do? So let's see. So, okay, so we got the copper book. That's good. Well, let me get out of there. Uh, go to the fountain room inside and you'll find Professor Barton. Talk to him twice and get to know. Okay. He didn't hung himself. Nope, he's good. It's you, Jennifer. Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Are you all right? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Oh, you like this kind of shit. Oh, Professor Barton, I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Words to open the door. Yes, audio popping because of the water. Below that is written. Nha e What does it mean? I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says, but it doesn't say which door. Okay. Door. Okay, so now she knows, like, you know, the door. So, 
Let's see. Built to mean hauling downstairs. Wait, hold up. If you're again A ending, you should be already here. Yeah, I'm already here. Okay, go into the hallway door too. Go to the only door down this hallway, which leads to the kitchen. Store. Okay, so I have to head for the kitchen storeroom. Click on the floor and you get the mansion key. Okay. Alright. So I need to go back to the kitchen then. Hopefully let's... Uh, leads me to the hallway. I mean it does. Okay. This game right here, Clock Tower, can be very short. You know where to go and you know what to do. Swollen, distorting. The floorboards are loose. No, hit the switch. Okay, so there could go two things wrong here. One, it could be Scissor Man, or it could be Beth, which we need. So, um, I don't know if well, I can't actually save the game because my memory card's full. Yeah, what the hell? I just load up the save state. Don't give a shit. Bottles of wine. <laughs> da da. Yay, you found her. Beth. She's alive. Oh, Jennifer, it's you. <clears throat> Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. He's going to kill us anyway. I don't want to go any further. Why don't you just stay here then? We can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? Because we might be able to find a way out of here. She's right. Do it. There probably isn't a way out. Lady, you don't know that shit. But if you really want to go, take this key. I found it a little while ago. I don't know what it opens, but it'll probably open something in this mansion. You now have the mansion key. <laughs> so you check this barrel here. Then you'll find her in the barrel dead because her ring will pop out. Okie dokie. So now that we got the mansion key. Okay. Return to hallway one and use the mansion key on the gate. Okay. There's a lot of sections in this thing here. Let me see. Okay. 
Because you keep playing this game like more and more and more, it's like you don't even need a guide. You could just like know where to go and know what to do. Do another safety save state. Okay, now we go up. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Oh, at the door at the end. So I didn't go back down. Yeah, it worked. Chemicals and laboratory instruments. Susan Man! A mummified Susan Man. The corpse looks very old. A key. You know how the box key. Okay, where's the rope? Oh, on, on the right of the shelf. Rope. Wonder why a rope and candle are together. You know how the rope. Nice big door. Let's see what's in the box. It's a Helen. Are you all right? Oh, Jennifer. Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. And you're not wrong on that. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion, and I must find it. Is there a way out of here? I'm just saying the same I thing. I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion, and I must find it. Okay. Time to go.
run. <laughs> it's like, okay, Helen, you just like stay there while I lead Scissor Man away. Safe for now. Jennifer! Nolan! You're alive! Where is everyone? I don't know. Scissor Man attacked us, and everyone scattered. Oh, come on. You kind of just jumped the motherfucker? Did I throw a rock or a stick at him? Nolan, you've hurt your leg. My leg? Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. Look at this dude trying to be all manly shit. Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? I'll come back after I've found and killed him. What was that? You saw them too? I've seen them a few times already. They Damn. are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. That kind of, it's kind of sad. So many. the room okay let's see go back to the main hall on the top floor along the left wall is an open doorway it's the mansion key and the one that says go to the room now let me see Well, technically, I've already been attacked by Scissor Memory, so that's done. Okay, so we gotta head back to the main hallway. Okay, where do we need to go? Top floor along the along the left. So, like, shit balls. <sighs> Gotta do it again. I mean, like I said, Cheryl, I'm sorry, but I, I have to make sure I do this because I want to get a ending. And I can't, like, do a safety save because I can't do shit. Very tough floor. I think this is the room I was in. Yeah, I was in this room already. I've already been here.
Okay. Oh, okay. My bad. I go through here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, here, what do we do now? Ignore this room and go to the next. Click on top of the closet bookshelf. Okay. So head to the next door. Can't reach it. Yeah. Is this thing here? Okay, let's see. We'll tell you about Quentin Barrels, the 13th generation barrel who is marked as a traitor. We even go back to the main hall, go back into the lands where you crawl the fireplace, you should find Tim. Okay. <clears throat> Traitor. Okay, now we go back here. <sighs> I thought the scissor mail was coming. Yay, Tim's alive. Hey. Tim Timini, Tim Timini, Looks Tim like Tim Timini. Doesn't it? I think you should keep these matches. Matches? Maybe you'll need a light. Thank you, Tim. You now have matches. Good. Okay, go downstairs to the same room. Look at the portraits. Okay. All right, Tim. Like you just chill here while I go ahead and just like uh, you know try to defeat Caesar, man. So enjoy like you know like I don't know paint and stuff. Mine dinner. Quentin Barrows. He is a 13th generation. I know it's stuck behind the back of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Well, that's going to happen. Okay. Now we need to go back to the office study. Look at the fireplace. Take the candle. Okay. There you go, this way.
can't see anything. It's too dark. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's like a kind of funny way. I just did it on purpose to show you that shit. Continue. Like, literally, she gets sucked up in the goddamn chimney out of nowhere. Like, if you look at it twice. Can't see anything. It's too dark. Okay, I think I probably need to, like, do something about this shit. Because, I mean, I can't see... Ugh, come on, I can't, like, you know, let Jennifer do this shit all the time. I mean, get sucked up... Eh, sucked in the damn thing. Oh, I have to click on this thing. My bad! Why is it stripped here? And you kind of like figure out like how the hell does she even like you know dive or something like that? Like what's in there? Jennifer, light it up, girl. Something is stuck in the back. This is like a sketch of the mansion. Passage jar and the fountain. You now have the mansion map. Yay, no more Jennifer getting sucked up in the damn chimney. Okay, go to the library and look for scratch marks. <laughs> okay, this one I can definitely do. Play the library. Nope. I think. This is the balcony, wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna have to find out where the hell is the library anyway. Oh, I'm stupid. <sighs> Literally, it's in the like the study. God damn dumb. <sighs> I'm sorry you guys, I can be very forgetful on like where these places go. Well, where to go, to be honest. One book missing. That's the copper book. Oh, I have to check out the the thing. Being dragged across. Secrets. A tree. 
Shrine of the Stars. So let's see here. You can continue to pick the wrong one. So... I think... Sun, the moon... I think it has to be the moon. If it's not, then I know she's gonna be doomed. Just go down it. If it's solid, then it's the wrong one. Nope! It's the right one. Because if it's like a solid one, then the walls close in and she becomes like Jennifer Sandwich. A dagger. A dagger with symbols carved in it. You now have the dagger. <laughs> Scary looking monsters! I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she could have used the dagger. Holy shit, we're almost done. Okay, in the first. Okay. So, make your way to the fountain room where Professor Barton is or was. Now that you know about the trap door, click on the second tree at the right of the fountain. Okay, so, end game, baby. Let's go. Back to the fountain. We're done. We are done, right? Because I want to double check. Yeah, okay. So we got the door, we got the map, we got the dagger, we know the cut, the chant. We are ready to rock. And here, here comes Scissor Man. Fucking nowhere. Use the sheet. Use the blanket, Jennifer. Yep, he hates them sheets. Especially the ones that are silk. Okay, now we can go ahead and destroy him for good. So, we saw everyone. We saved everyone. We are ready to rock and roll. Loud as fuck. I also had to apologize too if it was like really loud. Hopefully it's not like too loud. I know on my end is, but on your guys' end, I really hope it's not too loud. Ooh, that hurt. The water in the fountain drains away. Edward's not here. So yeah, like if you don't get what you need, then Edward can appear like right there and kill Jennifer.
Oof, you know she did. Alright, time to confront him once and for all. Nice mural. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... Dun, dun, dun. No. So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Yeah, it's a little off. I am very sorry the audio was like a little bit off on that one. The door of the truth! Open the door and show me the way. Nha e Shh. Eh, audio popping. Sorry that this is happening, chat room. Punk! Time for you to go to hell! And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is done. Now we can enjoy the ending. wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Really? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Uh, don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. You're tough. <laughs> no, you're just sweet. Burn. You still got a kiss. Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. Helen, Helen. <laughs> and so this story has a happy end. The Scissor Man Reign of Terror is officially over. Oh boy. So yeah, like literally I am not going to lie. You really have to know what you're doing. And I mean it too. And also, like I said before, I mean, during like scenario one, I mean, you just need to find like, you know, the one important thing, you know, and I mean it too, for reals. Turn it down just a bit. Hoping not too loud. So yeah, like anyways, um, like I said before, like you can like really miss some things that you like you kind of forgot in scenario one like how I found like the oil can because the oil can is definitely you know what you need to open up that door if you don't get it then yeah you're not getting that key so yeah in scenario one there's one missable item in scenario one and in scenario two well you're basically trying to look for the statue which technically is what you need to continue the story. You can't find it then. Like I said, you're off to the E ending, so it's done, so. And, uh, 
After like after that, when you get to scenario three, I mean, I mean, literally anything can happen, and I mean anything can happen. <clears throat> Where it's like basically, um, you know, if you don't get this item, you know, this person's dead, and also you're kind of heading up to like either one of the endings in the game. Like either, um, like, like I said before, if Jennifer can like, you know, like know the door and like know where to go, but actually she doesn't know the door, like, you know, like open the door and show me the way in the ish then yeah, basically, um, Edward would, well actually I'm about to say Dan, with Scissor Man. Well, now you know. Anyways, Dan will probably come, like, you know, to, like, the underground, which I don't know how he get there. And, actually, no, no, sorry. He would, like, stay in the underground. I am saying this all fucking wrong. I'm sorry, it's been, it's a long-ass night. Oh, well, look. Basically, Jennifer goes down the ladder. Um, Dan will be there waiting for her. And... Basically, like, she'll tell him that I have saw a scissor man throughout the, uh, right behind that door. How about we just go ahead and take him on together? But eventually, um, eventually he'll kill Jennifer with some kind of like knife or a rock or something. And, like, you know, he'll just like look at Jennifer's like, you know, like, now dead body. And then the other one is basically like you go through the door, but the thing is, is that like um, Kate will be behind the rock and basically coming from behind the hop behind the rock and just I don't know, kill Jennifer and that'd be it. And B ending, well, if you don't have the dagger, then basically Jennifer gets sucked into like you know the portal to hell with scissor man and she's considered dead but you know what at least you got to see me do like a ending and it should be all seven survivors well, I'm kind of looking at the time right now and it looks like I'll be able to do Helen's story until tomorrow I'm gonna do something very different. And I think I know what I might do. At least like, you know, like once you're done with the game, you get like, you know, good music at the end. Presented by Human Entertainment. Say it once, I'll say it again. Out of business. And we get the A rank with Survivors 7. So that is very good right there. So that's what you could consider good ending right there. You got an A rank and you found all seven survivors.